Hey guys and welcome to Football Manager 2019, that's right, it's here and it's going to be daily, 4pm on the channel every day, this is The Journeyman. Hey guys, welcome to Football Manager 2019 and part 1 of season 1 of my Journeyman series which this year is starting at the one and only Darlington uh, 1886 or something I think it's called or you know whatever but uh, yeah in the Vanarama National League North really looking forward to, to taking charge of them obviously last year we did Blythe Spartans uh, Darlington are actually only about 25 miles from my front door so that's why there isn't a moving into my house segment because I'm just living at home so we'll be doing the commute every day to Darlington but hopefully you're good and looking forward to this series last year we spanned 183 episodes it was amazing and funnily enough today in the match we're going to be playing Curzon and Ashton who were our second club in last year's journeyman so there you go, a nice little bit of symmetry there. And you can bet your bottom dollar that I'll be playing Blythe in the next episode. Just to, you know, get the SEO going and all that. But, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I, I just want to sort of introduce you to Darlington before we get into sort of any gameplay. Um, so if we look at the club, obviously, 1883, I was close. I was three years off. There were... Um, Founded in 1883, they had many, many years in League 2 and um, looked like they would go up to League 1 at some point, but uh, then financial difficulties hit, they had two uh, pretty much consecutive relegations and then they went out of business and it was very, very sad uh, and they went all the way back down to uh, this league down here, uh, English Northern League Division 1, which uh, my local team, South Shields, won a couple of years ago. Uh, and and since then they've uh, they've had a bit of a renaissance, two consecutive promotions and uh, a fifth place in the National League North a couple of years ago. Last year finishing twelfth. But hopefully we can uh, help this team get back into the football league. That is going to be the idea. Our manager is ourselves of course this year I'm actually able to use my date of birth, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm really really sad and pleased about that. But. Uh, yeah, we're starting with no stats, uh, no sort of coaching badges or anything like that. Just like last year, uh, no reputation and no coaching badges. Um, and, and hopefully uh, we, we can go on and become a legend of the game. In our very final episode, we won the Premier League and the Champions League title after 18 seasons uh, of last year's journey, man. So hopefully something similar to that would be preferable. Um, I haven't actually signed anybody yet. The, a, a big problem is that we don't have a, a, a scouting team. Uh, oh, we, we actually have some reports now. Oh, we've got a member of the scouting team. When did this happen? Uh, I guess the chief data analyst, he, he's been brought in by the chairman. He's younger than me! <laughs> he's younger than me. Uh, that's 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 quite ridiculous. But uh, he's come in as our chief data analyst, and he's uh, brought in a scout report. But uh, in this series, I'll only be using scout reports to sign players. I won't be hitting that button there, the player search. Uh, certainly not early in the series, because I don't think that's realistic. We need to get scout reports on some players, some agents coming forward to us, or players themselves coming forward to us before we can buy them. So that that's exactly what we'll be doing. Uh, that the board expect us to um, get to the playoffs this year. We have got a little bit of money to spend, five thousand, and we we've got four hundred quid on the wage budget. But I'm not really looking to, to spend much of that in the summer, at least. Uh, we've got a solid squad. Some of the, uh, the 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 famous names from Kev's Nuneaton series back in the borough: Tom Elliott or Sir Tom Elliott, should I say, and Jordan Nicholson in there. Uh, Reese Stitch, we had him. A couple of years ago in, in my non-league to legend save with Gateshead. Uh, so hopefully he, he pays us back with some good performances. But uh, no, there's some really good players in this squad. As you can see, four-star, five-star potentials all over the shop. So 
yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. And uh, tactics-wise, we're going for a 4-4-2, a very attacking one, but also with a counter-attacking mentality. Uh, if we go in... Uh, oh, I, I wish we could see it again. But uh, the, there's a little animation of what the the, the direct counter-attack is. I think that's probably the best for this team. Um, this is our in-possession idea. We want to overlap uh, and get early crosses in, which kind of uh, counteracts each other. But we'll see how it works. Uh, we're going to be more direct. We're going to play at a higher tempo and be more disciplined. Uh, in transition, we want to distribute to the flanks and take long kicks and, and sort of get the ball quickly forward um, and out of position want to get stuck in you know we want to be physical down in these non-leagues otherwise we're just going to get trotted upon and and we don't want that let's be honest uh training wise I, I, I with as with my other series i've sort of left it to the assistant for now um and it's something i'll dabble in throughout the series we'll we'll, we'll try and uh get better and better at it should be easier theoretically to do it at a non-league club because there's only a, a couple of days a week that you actually can train because we're part-time at the minute but without further ado Shall we get into a match? Uh, we'll, we'll go through the team for today. We've got Johnny Madison in goal. He's he's pretty good, actually. He's 23 years old. He's got five-star potential. Could get up to League 2, which is fantastic for this level. Uh, and he's actually a sweeper keeper down in non-league. We'll see how that works today. We've got Luke Trotman at right back again. Uh, 22 years old. Looks pretty good. Sorry for the weird cut there, uh, having a coffin fit once again, just like in my beta video, um, or a Newcastle video, I should say. Johnny Byrne as well, 23 years old, so we've got quite a young squad. Um, Dominic Collins, if you, if you want to pause and have a look at some of their uh, attributes, then please feel free. And Terry Galbraith at left back, he's been at Darlington for absolutely donkeys, and uh, and he should be pretty good. Tom Elliott in the midfield, uh, as well as Wheatley, Joe Wheatley, uh, a 21-year-old who, who looks pretty good. He can play in defensive midfield or central midfield, and, and should be a good player for us this year. Stephen Thompson on the right-hand side, got some decent attributes there, a good dribbling, uh, decent long shots, decent first touch. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, and we've also got Jordan Nicholson on the left-hand side. We know what he's about from Kev series last year. Uh, Reece Stitch up top, Gibraltarian. Or G Gibraltarian. Uh, three caps for the international team. Um, he, he played for loads of non-league clubs the last couple of years. Uh, Tamworth and Darlington. And he's actually scored 21 goals in the last couple of years. So hopefully more of the same from him. And Simon Inge. I'm going to say. Uh, he's a 30-year-old player. Uh, he's, he's played all, uh, all around the, the block, really. Uh, last year, didn't have the best of times in the Vanarama National, but has scored 13 and 22 in his last two seasons down at this level. So, without further ado, let's get into it. We're about uh, eight minutes into this video, so... Yeah, hopefully uh, you guys are looking forward to this. I certainly am. It's going to be in 3D, certainly for now. Let me know down in the comments what you guys would prefer to see. But uh, I'm certainly looking forward to using 3D this year. First team talk of the journey, man. It's got to be, come on, lads, show me what you can do. And let's get into it. I'm really, really excited for this. Uh, if, if you see my Newcastle video, you'll know that... Uh, it started pretty well, so hopefully we can uh, continue the good starts in this uh, in this series. We're going to uh, go to the TV camera view. Here's Thompson into the middle. Burn, and it's Collins, and it's in. Dominic Collins with the goal after 1 minute 50 seconds from a set piece. Just like England at the World Cup, wasn't it? That was absolutely brilliant. You can see all the fans are out today to see us play Curzon Ashton. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, and a, a nice flick on there by Burns. But Collins was at the back post to shove it into the back of the net. And it's 1-0. Come on, Darlow. Yes. Great start, the journey, man. We had a we had a good start last year with Blythe, actually. Uh, I think we were 2-0 down. I ended up winning 3-2 with a fantastic goal by Greg Rutherford in uh, the last 
a couple of minutes, a good pass by Christian Horner, of course. Haven't quite come up with any nicknames yet for this team, but I'm sure they'll come. That's in the middle. Morgan saying it's one all already. Adam Morgan with the equaliser assist by Oliver Crankshaw. And, uh, oh, look at these houses in Darlington. I mean, when, when I went to Darlington uh, last year or so, it seemed a little bit posher than this. We've got burger vans there in the corner. But, uh, oh, look, I'll tell you what, some beer bellies in the in the crowd there, isn't there? Uh, they need to be going on a diet. Um, luckily, they've got their tops on, though. I think if it was at St. James's Park, they'd possibly have them off. But uh, anyway, here's Crankshaw pushing forward for Curzon Ashton. Great tackle by Wheatley there. That's what he's there to do. Here's Stitch. Now back to Wheatley. Gets it forward. And now Morton away. Here's Trotman. Gets it forward. This is just uh, like pinball at the moment. Here's Ainge. Now Elliot. Wide to uh, Wheatley. Now to Thompson. Thompson gets it wide. Now to Nicholson. What a ball that was. Jordan Nicholson on the left-hand side. Here's Reese Stitch and it's in. And it's 2-1 to the Darlow. Jordan Nicholson with his first assist of the season. Setting up Reese Stitch. Uh, the our poacher there in the front three. And it was a lovely uh, switch across. I can't remember exactly who it was, but it was brilliant. And Stitch with the header. What a wonderful uh, start to the game this has been for both sides, to be quite honest with you. Uh, was that a second re angle on the replay? Who knew? Who knew? But uh, we'll get the, the, the league table up. And we'll get some later scores on as well. See how our old clubs are doing. Where's Blythe? Oh, they're 2-0 down. You know, they must be depressed that I didn't pick them this year. Boston are 1-0 up. That's not Jack Marriott, truly. No, it's Adam Marriott. Adam Marriott. I remember him from last year's save. Here's Galbraith. Now to Wheatley. Back to Galbraith now. Here's Nicholson. Wheatley. Inch. Oh, it's blocked and it's wide for a corner. I'll tell you what, it's the Curzon Ashton fans I haven't turned up. Look at this slot here. Look at them. Way. Thompson into the middle. It's away. Uh, and I think that might be Paul Marshall uh, from Curzon Ashton. It makes sense, you know, we were Curzon Ashton last year. I, I guess the team hasn't changed a lot. Nicholson, Galbraith, Wheatley. Wheatley to Elliot now. Elliot to Thompson. Wheatley in short. A good save by Mason there. I wonder if they've still got Chris Evans. Remember him? Who's that? Muhammad Ali. Uh, apparently... Actually, no, it's Moan Alley, isn't it? Never mind, I was trying to get a cricket joke in there, but uh, it's fell flat, hasn't it? Here's Thompson. Thompson on the ball. He's pushing forward on this right-hand side. Gets it into the middle. Angers there. Oh, it's off the bar. Wow. That was close, and I'm seeing already crosses are going to be good in this year's game. Really good start from us. 57% possession, considering we're counter-attacking, is very, very good. Tell them not to be complacent. Getting into this second half now, and and you can probably hear in my voice and the, the odd sniffle here and there that I've, I've got the remnants of a cold at the minute, so apologies about that. Uh, hopefully that'll alleviate us in the next few days, but uh, it's been a, a chore tonight recording these videos because my voice is dry as anything. But, uh, yeah, don't let it put you off subscribing to the channel. I don't always sound like this. Here's Trotman into the middle. Ainge is there, and he scores. Simon Ainge with his first goal of the season, and it is 3-1. Luke Trotman with the assist. And I'll tell you what, we're doing really well. Uh, certainly, you know, playing out wide, which is exactly what I told them to do with the tactic, which is encouraging. I've only been here about a week, but... Uh, Oh, look at that. They're loving it. They're absolutely loving it. It's it's curious as to why the, the fans on this side of the stadium didn't walk around uh, to to get a view behind the goal, but never mind. He has Thompson. Thompson on the ball. He's pushing forward now. Gets it wide all the way to Nicholson. Nicholson to Wheatley. Wheatley back to Galbraith. Here's Elliot. Elliot forward. It's away. Here's Wheatley now. Come on. Wheatley gets it forward. Oh, 
Wheatley again. That's forward to Thompson. It's out wide again. Can we get in? Is, is it another header? It is. Simon Inge with his second goal of the game. Stephen Thompson with another assist. It is 4-1. What a start this has been against Curzon Ashton. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, and Thompson was the man there. He got it into the middle. And Simon Ainge was there with the header. Crosses looking a little bit overpowered at the moment. You have to say. Here's Marshall. Gets it wide. Whew. Oh, I'm, I'm buzzing. We're top of the league, everybody. Hopefully we're top of the league at the end of uh, next season. Or oh, oh, this season, I should say. At the end of the season. That's what I'm trying to get at. Here's Elliot. Collins, Nicholson, now Wheatley. Wheatley forward to Ainge. Ainge on the ball. Wheatley. Oh, what a ball that is. And it's... Oh. Thompson should have been there. Oh, great tackle by Trotman. Tries to get forward. Nobody was there. Here's Marshall. Gets it forward now over the top. Here's Zamedy. Oh, it's a good save. And Elliot's got it. And we're just building from the back. But uh, that, that was a bit worrying the ball over the top there. Galbraith with the free kick, and that, I think, hit uh, th this sort of post behind the post, if you like. So it wasn't too far away. Here's Thompson. Now to Wheatley. Ainge on the ball. Gets it forward. What a cracking ball that was, but nobody there to, to receive it once again. Here's Collins. Madison. Galbraith. This is wonderful football to watch, but unfortunately we are just a little bit lacklustre in uh, our passing accuracy at the moment. But hopefully that will come throughout the season, bit of training. Uh, good save by Madison there. I've been encouraged by a, a, a couple of his saves. But uh, yeah, let me know what your first impressions are of the game. What do you think about the 3D match engine? Does it work well on the channel as well? Uh, it's certainly a nice change for me. Uh, after doing 2D last year uh, and and yeah I'm loving it we'll bring on uh, Liam Hughes I think for uh, Sir Tom Elliott oh, I think I'm going to have to call him Sir Tom you know I, I know it's stealing it off Kev but everybody knows him as Sir Tom we'll bring on uh, Alex Henschel as well not, not for him though we won't um, and, and we'll see what he can do you know he's a young player He's, he's got some good potential, so we'll bring him in and we'll see what he can do. I thought that said James Beattie there. I thought that was a, a blast from the past. It didn't quite say that, though. Ten minutes to go now. Come on, Darlow. Let's, let's see this out. But uh, what a fabulous first performance this has been and, and a great first episode. So if you have enjoyed it, honestly, do leave a like down below because uh, it does help out on these part ones. really does. Here's Bird. Now Stitch. Thompson. Wheatley. Wheatley on the ball. Gets it wide at Galbraith. We've got four seconds to go. Henschel. And it's full time. 4-1 in our first performance. That is brilliant. Absolutely fabulous from the lads. Well done. And uh, we'll see if we've got any sort of reaction uh, at the end of that. I have got the achievement first victory in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, Simon Ainge picked up man of the match, which is fantastic. So let's have a little look at when we'll come back. Spennymoor, that's another uh, local club. But I think it will be Blythe. It has to be Blythe. We'll do two matches in the next episode. We'll do Blythe and Kidderminster tomorrow. This series will be out every day at 4pm UK time. So hopefully you can join me for that. If you've enjoyed this episode, then make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does help me out, especially on part one. Share it about your mates, whatever you want to do. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And thank you very much. For coming along for this first journey. Hopefully you're enjoying FM19 too. Make sure you let me know what you think down in the comments below. Subscribe for daily Football Manager 2019 videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.